Bye. Let's do some DoorDash today with a special guest. Let's get it. All right, another challenge for you guys today with another YouTuber, Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Howdy, howdy. All right, he's traveling around. Tell the people where you're going real quick on your journey here. Yeah, so I'm doing a huge road trip. I'm going all the way up to California. I'll be there for over four days. But hitting like 10 cities, doing content in each city. So love check it. it out. Awesome. So we're going to do a little bit of a lunch challenge today. It is 10-16. I'll put my, my I'll screenshot my set stats here for you guys. We're at 51% acceptance has been dropping but you guys know that all right alex is at 70 i believe right at 70 right so he's getting what doordash would call first priority and i'm getting just priority let's see what happens he worked out here yesterday for a couple hours yeah right it's tuesday we're sitting in a busy area mcdonald's is here there's a panera a lot of things around us let's see how today goes all right so dash we're both on right now okay alex is going to take some screenshots and see what he gets you guys tell us in the comments down below. Now, he's the visitor and I'm on the home team, right? So I definitely have a clear advantage in that regard. You guys let us know how we're going to do. We're going to meet back here at 145. So we'll call it three and a half hours of time. And let's see how we go. So my phone went off first, not a diamond. Two orders, 750. <laughs> only four miles. But I think it's going to the same house because there's only one house icon. Oh. So if I screen, if I go in a little bit... I see one house icon, but it's going to like a eye care place, right? So it could have been like two people ordering, right? Same address, seven fifty for four point two at McAllister's Deli. I'm not gonna take this, okay? You can't take a stack at seven fifty, right? I mean, one of those orders is paying you like two dollars. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm gonna decline it. Uh, except for straight gold, Ooh, still stays yeah. at fifty one. Not worried about it. I got that first. Um, Let's see, what, let's see what he gets next. I declined it. He's 70% AR. I'm 51. I just got he it. got the same exact <laughs> order. Let me look at it again and make sure. Verify. Yeah. Same order. Okay? So, listen. Mm. We come on YouTube and say, well, this, that. Why did I get it first? If his acceptance rate's higher. Is it because I have more lifetime deliveries? Every other metrics on his app is better than mine. His customer rating's better. His completion rate. His acceptance rate and his on time is better than mine we're separated by about 6500 deliveries though listen i'm not saying i know that's a little odd though all right alex took that order uh same building different customers he's off to a better start because he's got something going i got nothing but i can't listen one of those orders is two 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 dollars or something i ain't doing all that let's see how today goes man super excited to meet alex very humbled he wanted to meet up oh here we go okay 625 Three miles, one order, I will take that. To me, that's a better order than a 750 for a little bit more miles and two drop-offs. Let's accept it and get the wheels moving. We were literally right across the street from this uh, Einstein bagel, so super convenient. And I wish Alex well. Y'all let us know who you think is gonna come out better. Um, what do you think about what just happened with the order? Why did I get it first? <laughs> Door dash. Oh, it's, all you can do is laugh, man. All you can do is laugh. All right, next order came in about two, about three minutes later, 8.50, 4.8. I took it. Arby's is right up here. I was literally going to come to the Panera and be close to this area. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this bad boy. And uh, this definitely has a hidden tip indicator. It could go up. D doesn't matter. If it stays the same, I'm good with it. Arby's is right there. And Tuesday is historically, in, in most markets, a slow day. A lot of you guys take Tuesdays off. I work Tuesdays, actually. Um, it's very nice out, as you can see the weather. I mean, it's perfect right so i don't expect much today i just i just don't but you know you never know quick five dollar and 25 cent pit stop going where it's going what's up man perfect appreciate you i usually don't like coming to this mcdonald's glad i did this time Order was ready. Dude was super cool. Every order, we've done three so far, right? Since the challenge. And every order, is, there's no wait times, which is great. But we haven't really had anything with a really, really good dollar amount. But this order was taking me to a zone I wanted, or an area I wanted to be in anyway. And I was close to McDonald's, so I took it. Gotta love the school drop-offs, man. Oh, these are always so good. And the teachers are always so ready to receive the food. There's always good instructions. 
All right, she was actually ready. I was being sarcastic and you couldn't catch that. <laughs> We're only at 20 bucks. We're just shy of an hour. We're at exactly 20 bucks. Oh, here you go. $14, two orders. I don't mind that. 14 bucks for two is a good indicator. Screenshot. Smoker Barrels, Noodles & Co., 14, 7.8. leaving me in the down I'm taking it I'm not gonna overthink this it's 14 for a seven I'm taking it so it leaves me in the downtown zone which is fine I'll be able to dash there there's it's a busy area I hope John's doing I hope not John Alex I hope Alex is doing much better than I am uh, twenty dollars in 55 minutes is uh, not acceptable for my standards that is way off where I like to be um, but this 14 and a seven I don't love that either but we're gonna be able to knock this out and at most, even if there's a wait, I'll be able to do this in less than 30 minutes. This one right here is actually pretty good, so let's see what we get there. What's up, man? Man, that was $70 worth of barbecue. 70 bucks, I saw the receipt. $4.50 tip. Oh, I thought it was gonna go up. Oh, oh, oh. I ain't mad. We're still making seven. We're still gonna make the fourteen dollars. Ain't no problem. But man, four fifty on seventy dollars. All right, we just dropped off that second one. I've dropped off to her before. It was an Arby's last time. I remember these things. Uh, Five dollar tip. I'll take it. Thank you very much. We're in a different zone, as you can see by the yellow bar. Thirty-four dollars on the nose. Not happy about today's results, but it's been an easy day. Actually, we haven't had any issues. I ain't worried about it. We're gonna end our dash. We're gonna start a new dash in downtown. There we go. One of the perks of being a uh, somebody that can dash anytime, that's pretty much it right there. So let's see what we get over here. I've, this is where I usually am for lunch, so no big deal. All right, as we drove off, we got back-to-back -back orders. This five-something for five miles. Then we got a 250. Didn't even look at the mileage on the 250. Um, trash. Both raising canes. Um, no. So, yeah. We're not... We're not man. Woo! When you see that two on that screen, does anybody else just get like... Does anybody else get like, wow, like... $2.50 Lord have mercy I hope you enjoy your cold fries Alright, two declines We're sitting in a parking lot This thing is just not um, You know, look at the referral bonus now Remember it was $1,800 a couple weeks ago Made a video last week, last Friday It was $700, now it's $450 $450, bucks. here's one going off $775 I'm at the Panera As you can see uh, $775, $3.6 I'm here. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Whatever. It is. But look, look at it. Oh, you didn't see it. $450, the referral bonus is. What does that tell us, boys and girls? There's more drivers in St. Louis than ever before. The referral bonus was high. Now it's lower, and it keeps going lower because they filled the quota of what they want to have in this market. Not surprised this thing's going off less. Not surprised during lunch, at least, I've noticed I'm not getting as many good orders. And if you if you watch this channel long enough, I haven't even been to Papa John's in a minute. The one over here, where I used to get the big juicy bangers. Haven't been there in a minute. Not like I used to. Like, this is one item, yeah. I mean, I'm just, the algorithm is putting me in a spot where they're going to say, Pedro, we know. Well, another one's coming in. Screenshot. Maybe. 550 for 1.3, but a totally different place. But, uh, yeah, look at the, oh, wow, look at that. Look at the houses. Houses are right by each other. So yeah, that's all day. And the, the place is up the street. So that's good. We just turned seven into basically 13. I'll take that. But yeah, man, I'm telling you, these orders, as you see, if you watch this channel, they're just sending me basically, my average order is seven bucks going two miles, two, two and a half miles. And I'm not mad about that. But where are these juicy ones that like, I used to see? Where they at though? Where they at? Where's this Papa John's bangers? I haven't been to Papa John's in a minute, man. I haven't. I don't know if my account doesn't run. No, I'm in the pizza program anymore. It's really weird. I used to go to pizza Papa John's all the time. I do not go anymore. Kind of strange. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Listen, let's go here. We're here. Let's go pick it up. Then we'll go to the other place. 13 bucks. I'll take that.
Man, no wait times, but at all, ever in any of these runs. But no wait, no wait times are good, but we need some big ones, man. I need, I need to give me a nice little $20 order. You know what I love? This guy right here. You know, I'm, you know what? I'm, I might listen. Just imagine what he was doing as he was walking, crossing the street. Let me know what you think he was doing as he was crossing the street that would have got me to laugh at him. Put a comment down below. I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to leave it up to your imagination. Shout out to the guy in the pink, pink shirt. Hello. Is that a pickup for Courtney? Yeah, Courtney B. Thank you. Hi. Check this out. So that's the code to get out of the gate. The security guy gave it to me. Shout out to the security guy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the code. Some customers just suck. $7 to order 6.1 miles Chipotle. Man. Oh, that. Decline. Well, this is interesting. Pulled over. I got this offer right here. I was like, oh, I'm looking at it. A lot of highway miles there. Most of the six is highway. So I was like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump on that. Because actually, it leaves me in the area me and uh, Alex are going to meet at in an hour and 20 minutes. And uh, so I was like, yeah, I'm, let me just take it, right? Place is right there. So I'm literally across the street. Yappy, Mediterranean, never been there before. So yeah, I'll do that all day. It is two items, man. We're just getting, man. There's a lot, listen, here, this is a 450 you guys see from the referral. It's down, right? Like I said earlier, there's more people working uh, the DoorDash app. I'm telling you, the wait times are for a lot of people that have to do this kind of work or come to this work for whatever reason, right? And uh, I'm telling you, man, I've, I'm going into these stores. I'm seeing people I've never seen, dashers I've never seen before. And that's not extremely uncommon, but I've noticed a difference. And listen, I've been doing this long enough. You, you notice trends in your market, right? Um, there's more people doing it. DoorDash plopped in probably several hundred new people. And I work in zones that are popular and busy. So if you live in St. Louis or close to St. Louis, this is a zone that you would work. Um, yeah. Listen, I'm going to start turning that Instacart and that Uber Eats back on to show you all how the Malta app is done. It's coming. All right, pay off for that one. And we entered a new zone and we got this one immediately as I was pulling off. 17.50, Aldi, Aldi's close. Mileage is fine. Yeah, I'm going to take a 17.50 Aldi all day long. Let's go. I think we're at 56 plus a 17.50, 66, 66 plus... We'll call it seven, sixty-six, seventy. Whoa, my brain's not seventy-three bucks. We're gonna be at seventy-three bucks. You know, I want I want to bring some of y'all's attention, or I want to. I got a question to, to think about here, and I'm gonna make a video one day about it. Every decision you make with the gig apps, you can, this goes with life as well. Every turn you make. So if I decide, for example, to go here, right, and park in this spot, right versus making a turn and parking up there or because I decided to take the $8 going six bringing me to where I wanted to be, right? Every decision you make, every order you decline, every order you take leads you to your next thing that you're gonna do or not do. So yeah, I could have declined this $17.50. It could have declined to $8. Maybe I would have got a $40 Papa John's because the Papa John's was right there. I might've got a, uh, a $2 offer on Raisin Cane's which was down the street a little while ago and I would have declined that. Everything you do takes you somewhere. This 1750, I'm gonna complete this. It's gonna be really easy for me to shop. I'll drop it off. Should be able to do one or two more orders if I'm lucky. Probably one for sure before I gotta go meet uh, Alex. But everything that you accept and decline, every turn you make, every mile per hour you drive in your car leads you to a different path. All right, got the haul, super easy. They did not have, he wanted uh, some peaches, no peaches. He wanted six Celsius energy drinks, none of those. Uh, he didn't pick any substitutions. He didn't let me know if he wanted something I asked. So this was super quick. Um, what I like about DoorDash and the pays is the, it's not going to go down. So even if he orders like, it, the, the pay is going to say the same with Instacart and other shopping apps. If they tipped off of percentage, and you'll make less money, but not with DoorDash. We're going to drop this off. It's going to be 103 or 104. We're going to meet Alex at 145. So we'll definitely be able to do at least one. Probably two more orders. And just something to think about, right? If, if they have those items and I find them and I have to scan them or pay, you know what I'm saying? I'm maybe 30 seconds behind, right? So my path in which I'm driving, it changes the time, the traffic light I hit, 
the order that might hit my screen or might not hit my screen changes. Everything we do as a gig driver, when we're accepting and declining orders and how fast we move, leads us down a completely different matrix of gig possibilities. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. Y'all let me know what you think. Am I crazy or am I actually, does, that makes sense, right? Doesn't it, like logically, you, got, you know, and that's with anything, but even with the gig apps, you decline, you accept, it takes you down a whole nother path, a whole nother different drop off, a different area, different street, different time of day, different scenario. You're setting up your different scenario, but you have no idea what that scenario is gonna be when you accept and decline. You're just saying, this is good, this is bad, but you have no idea what's coming afterwards. All right, about two minutes later, we got this one, 675, 3.3 miles, Popeyes. Uh, I almost didn't take it, but I said, let's get as close to 80 as we can. I don't mind it. This Popeyes isn't gonna be super busy right now. They shouldn't be. The lobby is open at this one. Last time I was here, and it leaves me very in this little area we need to be, so. Let's do it. What we're looking for is for them to add one of any type of value, and I'm on it. If, even if it's four bucks going a mile, I'm taking it. Five bucks going one or two miles, I'm taking it. That's what we're really looking for here. That way we can really maximize our mileage, maximize the time. We're already here. Well, they are a little busy. Eh, we're fine. It's Popeyes. Who, listen, if you like Popeyes as a person to eat chicken, let me know in the comments. Put like a little drumstick emoji or a chicken emoji. If you like Popeyes as a delivery driver, you let me know that as well. I bet we're not going to get a lot of those. It should be open. Let's find out. Cross your fingers. Yes, sir. There we go. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Love that chicken of Popeyes. So it's 109. By the time we drop this off, it'll be we'll be at the three hour mark and we'll be what at what 79, 75, or maybe 80 bucks. So not too bad. Oh, is it ready? Thank you very much. So 80 bucks for three hours ain't bad. And what I want to remind some of y'all is yeah, 80 bucks in three hours, that's not great. Some people look at it like, man, Pedro, that's not great. I use 20 apps and I make a hundred bucks. Like, I get it. I need y'all to remember one thing, and all the smart people know this. I make YouTube videos, and a lot of my videos, most of my videos are a high majority are clearly DoorDash related. So I'm showing people what to do, how to do, entertaining with my DoorDash account. So you have to understand when I'm saying when I say I'm making 80 bucks in three hours, that's not bad. That's true for a lot of us, right? I said on Tuesday when the oversaturated market, but I'm making money doing other things, and that's the stressor. Really, the, one of the main purposes of this channel is to motivate and inspire to. What is gonna be your next step? What is the next step? What are you building towards to make some either additional active or passive income so that when you're out doing the gig economy, whatever that means for you, in whatever market that is for you, you're not stressed about making. If I would have been only making 60 bucks today, I would have been like, man, that was kind of the pace we were on for a little while. That's not great, right? But if you have other money coming in, funneling from other directions, it allows you to have a day that's not great where you don't hit that goal on that monetary way of making money, but you make up for it doing something else. Just dropped it off to a nice young teacher, 675. There you go. Easy money. That was super easy. Got it. Okay. Let's get one more. We should be able to do one more. Let's do one more. And this one came in. I was just about to say, I think we've only seen one $2 order today, right? The Raisin Cane's 250 and then this one popped at 325 McDonald's. I could have done it. I could have done it. Could have been my last. I, I'm not. I'm not taking the trash, man. I'm not delivering to people that are ignorant, uneducated, or unkind. Twenty-two twenty-five. Oh, it's taking me up there. It's only seven miles. Target and PetSmart. A double shop and pay. Twenty-two twenty-five. I'm not passing this up. It's one twenty. I'm gonna have to. Alex is gonna be waiting about five minutes, and he's gonna have to be okay with that. Let's go make this twenty-two twenty-five. It's gonna put us over a hundred bucks. Yeah, I wasn't gonna pass this one down. No way. Not doing that. I'm doing this twenty-two dollars. I asked for it earlier. Remember, I said it's in the twenty-dollar run. This is it right here. All right. I like that. I'm gonna make an extra twenty-two, but I shouldn't have taken it. I'm gonna be late to meet Alex. I don't want to deal with carrying all this shit up. This Hell, hi. How are you? I gotta get a cart. This is a uh, fail. Epic fail. Yeah, this is, this is. 
All right, we're done. Let's go meet Alex, see how he did. I believe we did 102. Uh, not bad. Under four hours. Um, yeah, not horrible. But, man, they use some muscles for that last order. It is what it is. Part of the job. But I really wish, you know, this is where, you know, and we, DoorDash allows us to drop in on a sign without penalty mostly. It's, it's fine. But imagine you're a, I don't know, somebody that can't carry. 75 pounds of stuff, right? Just imagine that for a second, you know? Just, just imagine it, right? What, what, what do you, you just, then you get penalized because of that, you know? Or if the offer screen showed you exactly what it was, the items, the kind of items, the weight, then you could be like, oh, I gotta decline it. Don't ask, give us more information so we can make better informed decisions. Because if I have to drop that, if I'm a 90-year-old, well, listen, if I'm a 70-year-old grandma and grandpa that doesn't feel like carrying heavy stuff and I'm doing DoorDash, there's a lot of there's a lot of them out there doing DoorDash, I have to then drop that order if I don't want to carry it or can't carry it up six flights of stairs, okay? And even if you got a cart, you're still carrying it around, right? So now I got to drop it and then DoorDash has to pay the next driver maybe a little bit more because it was dropped. So you're costing yourself money. All right, so we're meeting up, right? We, you guys know what I made. I'm gonna let uh, Alex know in a second. So go over again what you made and yeah. how long, how long it took it. Yeah, so it was three hours on the dot, um, 39 miles, and I made six, uh, 76.83. 76, 73 hours. Now we were slightly under four, right? Because we did that last run. So I did a run it for 22 bucks in it. Uh, was the last one. That's why I couldn't meet you at 145, right? Because it's a little later, right? And we did 102, right? right? So if you take away the 22 that I did, we would have been out for the same amount of time that he was out, and we would have been at the 80 bucks. So very, very similar, right? You had a cash chip in there as well, yeah. right? Yeah. We didn't have any cash chips. How much was your cash chip? Five. Five bucks, right? So cash chips count. That, that's real money. Um, how'd you feel about St. Louis? What, what, what are your impressions after being out here for two days now? I mean, I usually never work Tuesdays because it's garbage, but today mm -hmm. I made more than my average in Fort Wayne with four apps, so. Not bad, right? So that's good, and you only use one app. Right. So St. Louis is good, in my opinion, and, and some others have been having similar results. If you're in a diamond zone, which St. Louis is, and you keep your AR above 70, is yours, what is your AR right now? So I, it got down to 65. So his got to 65. Mine, I'll put here, so I start at 51, it's at 55, so we had some declines that you guys saw, but mostly it kept us pretty busy. We didn't have a lot of downtime. Did you have downtime today or did it keep you busy? Hardly, yeah. Hardly any downtime. So not bad results for a Tuesday where most people don't work it because maybe it's not good, it's trash, right? Or it's slow, whatever, right? A lot of people tend to take like a Monday, Tuesday off or a Tuesday, Wednesday off. I work Tuesdays, right? And for me, it's a day I can make 200 bucks because we made 102 for lunch, right? And we haven't worked, the apps haven't been on for a couple hours for us, right? Two hours and 15 minutes, it's four o'clock right now. And I can go out tonight for probably three, three and a half hours and make another hundred. So 200 is not, um, it's not, it's not a lofty goal in St. Louis, but your market could be very, very, very different. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.